Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking hoo -hoo, graphic novel review. Bit of a storm going on, so I hope that doesn't... I'll denoise it if I have to. Uh, today we are doing Superior Iron Man Volume 2, Stark Contrast. Actually a pretty good title for this one. And you see Rescue standing over Iron Man there. Pretty cool. I really enjoyed the first Superior Iron Man book, even though the series as a whole is obviously a cheap attempt uh, to make more money off the popular idea that was Superior Spider-Man by throwing Superior onto Iron Man's title. But because of Iron Man's long-standing ego and etc., it actually worked out pretty well. I kind of wish it would have been a longer title because it just ended after Secret Wars, you know? Because Secret Wars started, like, right when this ended. And we it never really had the conclusion I wanted. Unless something happened in Secret Wars that gave me my conclusion, and I just don't know about it. But uh, I got it for five ninety seven. It normally goes for nineteen ninety nine. Got it at books a million. Uh, nineteen ninety nine seems like a little much. This is maybe a sixteen ninety nine book at most, thickness wise. Especially since they had to, there weren't enough issues to make a full trade, so they had to put old Iron Man issues inside the book to fill it up. But yeah, we're gonna read the back real quick. Pepper Potts has had enough. As Tony Stark's wealth and influence increase across the globe, he prepares to unveil a new Stark world. Pepper alone knows the extent of his superiority, and she's determined to prevent him from slipping even further. But she'll need help. As Tony is left reeling by shocking revelations, doubt begins to creep in, and his future looks uncertain. Who or what lurks in Tony's old armor, and can Pepper trust it? Iron Man clashes with Iron Man in an epic battle that could mean the death of the Tony Stark we know and love. The superior Iron Man is dead. Long live the superior Iron Woman! I don't know why it says that at the end, because that's not actually what happens. Collecting Superior Iron Man 6 through 9, written by Tom Taylor and illustrated by Laura Braga, Yildre Sinar, and Felipe Wontanabe, plus classic Iron Man 1968-182 which is one of his sobering up issues. Uh, but I'm mostly going to focus on the Superior Iron Man issues themselves and not really talk about the classic issue, because I feel like it's almost not relevant. Like, I know it's in here, but it should maybe be saved for a different volume that it's actually part of the story for, because I feel like you buy this for the Superior issues, <laughs> uh, and not the classic one in the back, obviously. You'd buy a different trade for that if that's what you really wanted. So, this was actually quite good. I really love the art. Uh, the art is done extremely well. It's got the perfect balance of seriousness and uh, some kind of lighthearted stuff. Uh, Tony does seem quite evil in this, but not evil evil, almost a lawful evil, which is really nice. Uh, it's really a wonder he didn't get arrested at the end of this book, to be completely honest. But it turns out the program inhabiting his armor is a program he made a while back that was a copy of his consciousness from eight years ago that uh, would replace him if a situation like this where he became Superior Iron Man ever happened. But it turns out eight years is a long time, and he's gotten a lot smarter, and it's kind of hard for the other one to beat him. And, spoiler alert, Rescue and this Iron Man AI... They don't beat him. He beats them and leaves. And then Secret War happens, and I guess you have to read some Secret War book to figure out what goes on with Superior Iron Man and how his story ends, because it just left off there, and then we got, like, Invincible Iron Man or whatever after. And there's the last volume of Superior Iron Man doesn't have an ending to the story. I mean, there is a small victory. Pepper buys up all the media he was going to buy up to make himself look good, and she turns people against him so that his plans will be harder to accomplish. That's interesting, but at the same time, got rebooted right after, so who cares? Right? That's the big thing about this, is that it clashed with the event stuff that was going on at the time, and it didn't get to have a big wrap-up. This should have been a longer title, uh, to really be satisfying. And both volumes are good. They're both very good. But there should have been more. 
there's not enough of it for it to almost be justified. So uh, maybe don't pay full price for them both. They're worth it just individual story-wise, but I got them both for bargain prices, so I think I came out pretty well, especially since there's no real ending. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Don't know what we're doing next time. I'm leaning towards Red Lanterns. I said that last time, but then I did this. I wanted to split up all the DCs I was doing, and, you know, Iron Man seemed like a good bet. So that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time.